Oh. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is LaToya Ebony. I have natural hair care, I got passion. I got a little bit of vlog up in here as well. Listen, this is the place to be. Go ahead, look around, subscribe. Zoe's giving today. I know, I know, you can't beat an Afro puff. Now, I saw a thumbnail online and the video is entitled, Relaxing My Hair After 10 Years Natural Fail. Relax or Fail. And I put this in my watch later because I've already had my own experience trying to texturize my hair and it looks like this girl in the thumbnail, her hair is literally falling out. I am already mortified for her. So I figured that I would watch this video with you all and this is not to shame anyone who wants to get a relaxer, da 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 da, it's not what this is about. I'm doing a reaction to this girl and I honestly, I hope that she's okay. I'm just curious, just like everybody. I mean, when you have a, a, a thumbnail that looks like that, you, you, you won't click it, so. <laughs> let me, um, let me click it. This is from Scalp. It is. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I feel like sometimes I'm a little, <laughs> like, I really be feeling what people be, like, I, I don't know, I think, I think I'm a true empath, and so, like, I'm the worst person to even try to roast anybody. Listen. That is traumatizing. Listen, she got me hooked. It already has, from the time of recording, nearly 200,000 views. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa. Hey I Lisa. I don't even have any time to make like a proper intro. Hence the reason why I'm doing this in the first place. If you saw the title, you would know that I'm perming my hair. She got that Mazzani. Right now. Yeah, I have no choice. I have no choice. I have no time to maintain it. I have no time to manage it. I have no time to do anything to my hair. My hair is breaking off. My hair is brittle. My hair is a mess kind of now. I'm always a mess. This is how I look. It looks Most good. Days. No. I have I have girls. I have a boy too, but I'm saying I have oh I have girls. They're one's going to high school, one's going to middle school. It is no reason for this to be a representation of how a woman carries herself like yes they're old enough to understand that but no i want to show them strength you know even when it's hard you can carry yourself better okay i'm gonna pause it i know sometimes when you're recording a video see here i go just making excuses for people <laughs> You can be distracted and maybe things didn't just come out the right way. But based off of what she said, it's kind of sad to me. You know, I don't want this to be a representation. I understand where she's going. She's like, look, I, I, I want to be a representation of how you take care of yourself. And what she's saying is that she doesn't have time to take care of her natural hair. And this is honestly something that I speak about a lot, right? We all have preferences of how we want our hair to look. But the fact of the matter is like, <clears throat> okay, I have even said time and time again, oh, my hair is a mess today, da da da, because in my mind, it doesn't look the way that I wish that it would look. However, the reality is, is that your hair looks the way it's supposed to look naturally. You know, everyone does things to their hair to alter it, whether you have the straightest of hair or you have the kinkiest of hair, right? We're all altering it to make it look shinier, to make it look juicier, to make it look whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, like the way that it is, is the way that it is. It's not a good or a bad, it's like a neutral thing. But I do understand what she's saying, like maybe it's not a reflection of how she wants to, you know, present herself to the world and she wants to be a good example for her, her daughters. I have a son and he gonna get what he get. <laughs> you know, like whether my hair is in its natural state or I do some hairstyle to it, I, I want him to grow up knowing what black hair looks like in all the states so he's not, you know, running down the street talking about, oh, her hair is nappy, la da da, like being like all the little boys 
that I had growing up, you know, like this is what a black woman looks like sometimes. Like even people, even Caucasian people, they wake up and their hair looks hella shrinky. Like they say the same things about their hair. You know what I mean? Like, so I think it's just so interesting that when a person or a black person hair is messy, and a white person or someone else's hair is messy that maybe has a looser curl pattern, it's just so much less desirable, you know, for the black person to have it than somebody else. That's not the case that she's making here, but it's just an observe, it's just an observation that I've had, you know what I mean? Okay, I think I'm actually gonna fast forward in her video to the application, cause we gotta, we gotta find out how she got here. I'm, I'm excited. She's already based her, okay. she says she's excited. If I'm doing this wrong, keep your comments to yourself, okay? Like, because if you look better, you feel better. And I have not been feeling good. And after a year of struggling with postpartum depression, I refuse, re I refuse for my hair to take me back down a dark road, mm. no. Okay, I'm gonna pause real quick. Honestly, postpartum depression is such a real thing. I don't think people understand how many people go through it. And it's literally a chemical reaction that's happening in your body that you have no control over. And then the stress of, you know, I don't, I don't, I've never seen Lisa's channel ever before, but just the stress of like, making sure this other human being has everything that they need, that you're trying to do everything perfect, you're trying to be the best that you can possibly be. Sometimes you have help, sometimes you don't. I mean, and you're not sleeping. You're not sleeping. Nobody is good when they're not sleeping. Like, I turn into a whole beast if I don't sleep and I don't eat, okay? So imagine like six months, a year of going through that. Like, you guys, I've been through it before, so I feel her. Um, there of course are so many options. She could have got locks. She could have, you know, got someone to put in a, a protective style for her for a period of time. She could have wigged it up. She could have, she could have did a lot of other things, but she felt that this was her, um, like this was her solution. And you know what? We're not over here bashing, okay? I think the majority of us watching this channel have been there before. Let's see what she's saying. Uh, like in conclusion, I just want to feel my best self. So y'all do what y'all have to do to feel your best self. Like, mm -hmm. I want to feel better. I miss the confidence I had, you know, mm -hmm. when I used to do my hair and keep myself up. Where is that, you know? I want to be a good example to my girls. I feel like her postpartum is. And go to the store and my hair not be a mess. It says, for medium to normal hair, 15, 18 minutes. It definitely had not been, um... 18 minutes, but I'm scared. 15 to 18 so, minutes? I would have rinse it out. Okay, let me pause. 15 to 18 minutes, I don't know what the box says, but I remember when I was getting my texturizer, I wanna say I kept it on for like seven minutes, and my prep was terrible, okay? I literally straightened my hair before I put a texturizer in, the wrong thing to do. I'm looking at her hair and I know it's stressed. She's actually trying to get a relaxer, so it's a completely different thing. 15 to 18 minutes sounds like a very long time. <laughs> But I haven't read a relaxer box for a very long time as well. So that's what the box say. She's following the directions. And I've heard that people have gotten good results off of Mazzani. Okay. It's giving I'm thin processed hair. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, it looks like she's about to put a neutralizer. I'm taking conditioner first. For a week, bro. Oh, her hair is literally falling out. Oh, look at her face. I'm literally about to cry for her. And then you're recording and so like you're trying to keep face too a little bit. Is this a joke? Is this a joke? <sighs> Her hair is, oh my God, it's literally falling out like, oh my gosh. like it's. I literally just wanted to feel better about myself. I just wanted to make sure that I kept my hair done so my girls can know to keep themselves up. 
I want to stop looking crazy in public. I just want to feel my best self. And that's, I didn't even be in the whole time. Oh. And that's how life gonna do me. That's how life gonna do me. Okay, I'm gonna pause. I'm not gonna cry. Like, I feel so bad for her. Um, I know how she feels. Like, I know how that feels to like, have postpartum. Why am I crying? Ciao. Um, wow. I feel so bad for her. She's literally just wanting to feel good. And like, I think so many of us can um, relate to that just wanting to feel good one thing about like having a child i i don't know the science behind this maybe some of you guys can put it in the in the comment but i remember when my hair was falling out like like my whole edges were like gone and that happens to a lot of people so i'm wondering if the hair in general was in a little bit of a weakened state because we're literally giving so much um nutrients to our our babies when we're growing our babies and so many things so many reactions i remember getting like a full rash all over my body um after having my son and my hair falling out and i had all these dark spots everywhere i got the craziest acne so i wonder i don't know i'm just wondering if the pregnancy had anything to do with it or it could have just honestly been a really bad batch brie i forget her full username here on youtube if i will link the video down below she was speaking in this video about basically counterfeit products and that is a real thing we normally hear about it in makeup cosmetics but there's fake shampoo and conditioner and relaxers out there so i'm just i just hope uh, I don't even have any words for it. Let me just continue watching. I'm gonna fast forward this video because I want you guys to kind of watch her video too and give her the views as well. This is from Scalp. Okay. Oh my God, that's like that's like her whole hair. Like that's that's her. That's that's everything. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward it. Um, you guys definitely check out her video if you want to watch the whole thing. Definitely give her, show her some love and support. Lisa J Styles, what this was a couple months ago, I think this was filmed. So hopefully she's doing better now. You can see that she's kind of just combing her hair out. And that's literally, I, I always say probably like 80% of her hair is, is in the sink. That's everything. So it's the next morning. <laughs> Look, I got no sleep. <laughs> I was crying. I was crying when I texturized my hair too. But look, okay, I look. hated the results. <laughs> I honestly feel like it's one of those moments where it's like, it's so crazy that you laugh to keep yourself from crying. I've been there. It's not <laughs> Oh, it's not funny. <laughs> That's a lack of sleep too. It's just like you just go loopy. I put it in a ponytail. Like, what is this? I don't I can't even like I think the reason is what's getting me, like just wanting to feel beautiful, especially after it's just like such hard work, you know, being a parent in general. She feeling better? I think my hair just couldn't uh, couldn't t take it. I should have did a, I should have did a patch test. I did not. I should have did it. That's my fault. That's my mistake. I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened, but it is what it is. Maybe it was time. Maybe I needed to change. Maybe it was time to move on. Maybe my hair was Speak that positivity. Because I put so much emphasis on my hair. Mm. When my hair is done, I feel ugly. I feel I feel like I look stained. I feel depressed sometimes. Maybe my hair was holding me back. You know? Maybe it was time for me to stand, hold my hair held high. <laughs> Even without my hair done. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm looking at it. It was time. New change, new journey. You know, self-love journey. 
how how better else to love on yourself more when you bald head? You know what I'm saying? So I'm hey, all of this like right here at the top, tatted probably in May, and I feel like with a short haircut, with this tatted and my sleeve finished, and when I put all my earrings in, do my makeup, I feel like we might be. It might be a look. It might be a vibe. And what's crazy, what's crazy, what's so Hold crazy. Hold on, I'm just going to pause it right here. I think I'm going to stop the video here because I'm pretty sure she's going to like kind of do a reveal at the end. And I want you guys to um, go over to her channel and show her some love. Oh, Lisa. Um, and also subscribe to her as well. I'm pretty sure she's going to be sharing her journey. Let me look. Starting over, yep, she's she just did a whole big chop 13 days ago. She has a new video up right here so go ahead and support her lisa j styles thank you so much for sharing your video with the world that is such a tough situation to be in but you know you turned it around and that's that's the best that we can do when we're in these situations and we, we you know we we done messed up we messed up <laughs> Um, and you know, at the end of the day, we just have to own it and then move forward. And it looks like she's moving forward beautifully. So, oh, it still got me though. It still got me a little bit. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, have you guys been in this situation before? I remember when I got my texturizer, I did it myself. I did, I did it. It was terribly. It was, it was a terrible situation. I cried all night long to my husband. I didn't want to share my hair. It didn't fall out, thankfully, but it was literally bone straight. It, it looked nearly bone straight. And I did everything to try to get my texture or at least some of my texture back. And it just, there was just nothing. And the only thing I could do was come on camera and let everybody know how it went. And I was in a similar situation. I was just like, you know what? It's taking a lot of time. And I, I just wanted to like kind of loosen it just a, just a little bit so that I could be more manageable. This was like six years ago or so. And so even up until that point, I think I was natural for like five years or so. Even that amount of time was not enough. We did a, we did a relapse. <laughs> it's not even like, I feel like that terminology is not even, it's not, it's not like, it's probably not PC, right? Right, because there's real people going through things like that. So thank you all for watching this. Go show her some love. If you've been in this situation before, comment down below. Let me know what you think happened. Do you think it was the pregnancy and her hair being in a weakened state? Or do you think that maybe it was a bad relaxer? Let me know down below and go show her some love. Subscribe, thumbs up. Check out my natural hair care regimen video here. Actually, it's gonna be a whole playlist right here. And then I'm gonna put another playlist down here of my big chop when I kind of like started all over from that texturizer. If you are interested in this shirt, wake fluff slay, I'm gonna be listing it down below at shop.latoyaebony.com. And with that being said, I'll see you in a few days. Bye. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love you like la la.